Good morning, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about a discrete probability distribution. Without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. What happened? So I shared a long screen with you. I have to stop share and I'll share the right screen with you. Okay says uh, the following data have been gathered on the number of months a new employee stays at his or her job and the corresponding probabilities. Okay. Uh, so you have been given a column of X, the months, and the corresponding probabilities. Notice the probability of staying zero month is 0 0.12, one month is 0 0.18, two month is 0 0.30, Three month is 0.15, four, the probability is not known, five is 0 0.1, and six, uh, probability of staying six months is 0 0.03. Now, this is a discrete probability distribution. Why? Because we are jumping from zero to one, one to two. There is no decimal number in between. Okay, so the sum of the probabilities should be equal to one. This is one of the important properties of probability distribution, any probability distribution. Sum of the probabilities is equal to one. So all these probabilities should add up to one, okay? So let's sum up the probabilities that we have been given, which is 0.12 plus 0.18 plus 0.3 plus 0.15 plus 0.1, plus 0 0.03. The sum of the probabilities that have been given to us is equal to 0 0.88. Now we know the total sum of all the probabilities is one. So from one, if we subtract 0 0.88, we will get the probability of that an employee stays four months at the company, which is one minus 0 0.88, which is 0 0.12. So let's fill this up. This is 0 0.12, okay? And so, 0.12, okay? Again, the sum of all the probabilities sum of probabilities of x is equal to one. This is one important property of any probability distribution. Sum of the probabilities of all the events inside is uh, the probability distribution is equal to one. So this should be p of x, right? Okay, now we are ready to complete the problem. It says part A, complete the probability distribution. That means Find the empty spot for probability of x equal to 4, which is 0 0.12. So find p x equal to 4, and that is equal to 0 0.12. We have already found it out. So let's create some space for us, and let's do this problem. So... Okay. Maybe I can create a little bit more space, and then... Yes. So, part C, find probability of x greater or equal to 5. So, part B, P of x equal to 4 is equal to 0. Point, this is equal to 0. 0.12. Uh, okay, part C, okay. Find probability of x greater or equal to 5. That means probability of 5 
plus probability of 6, which is 0 0.10 plus 0 0.03 is equal to 0 0.13, okay? Greater or equal to 5 is probability of 5 plus probability of 6, okay? Part D, on the average, okay? How long do you, uh, let's see, what does it say? If I reduce this a little bit. On the average, how long does an employee stay at his or her job, okay? So we have to find the average value of x, okay, which is also sometimes called in discrete probability distribution as e of x, which is the expected value of x or the mean of x equal to mean of x. Now, the mathematical way to do that is x bar equal to sum of p uh, sum of x multiplied by corresponding probability. So you multiply each x with the corresponding probability and do it for all the x values and then add it up. Now using TI-84, we'll do it in a different way. So I will show you how to do it by TI-84. Okay, so the first thing we will do is enter the x values in L1 and the corresponding probability values in L2. So, if we listen carefully, the first thing we will do is press the second button on the top left corner of the calculator, and then the plus button on top of enter on the bottom right corner. So second and then plus, and then the key four, which gives me clear all list on the calculator, I hit enter, okay? So I cleared all the memories of the calculator. Then press the start button and then number one, which is edit. Now I'm ready to enter the X values in L1, which starts with zero, then one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six. <coughs> Once I have entered six, the last value in L1, list one, I press the right cursor key, which is on the top right corner of the calculator. And the cursor key moves on the first line in L2, where I type in 0 0.12, then 0 0.18. So this is all I'm typing in L2. And then the next probability is 0 0.3, next probability is 0 0.15, next probability is 0 0.12, next probability is 0 0.10, and the last probability is 0 0.03, okay? So we have entered L1, X values in L1, and the corresponding probabilities in L2 in the calculator. Now I press the stat button, highlight calc on the top row, and scroll down to number one, or press number one, which will put one where stats in my calculator screen, First line list is L1. Second line frequency list should be L2 because that's where I put the relative frequency or probability data. So for my calculator, frequency list is empty. So I will make it L2 by pressing second and two in the second line. Frequency list, comma, colon, then second and two gives me L2 because my relative frequency list is in L2. And then I will calculate. Okay, so the X bar value or the expected value of the of this above distribution works out to 2.39. That means on the average, an employee will stay 2.39 months at his or her job, a new hire. So part E, variance. Variance, uh, they have asked, so variance is given by this, variance of a population is given by this symbol, which is the square of standard deviation. So standard deviation squared, deviation squared. Okay. I look up in my calculator where I've calculated X bar as 2.39. My standard deviation is one, point 
five, eight, six, eight, you might say. Okay, and we have to square it. How do I square it? I press the X square button. Where is the X square button? So I first type in my calculator, 1.5868, okay? Then I press the X square button, which is in the first column. First left column of calculator keys, halfway down is X square. We press that, which will put the exponent two on top of 1.5868. So after pressing X square button, you will get a exponent two over here. And the answer is hit enter after that is 2.518. So this is the variance in the distribution of the months that the employee new hire will stay at his or her job. Notice the unit of variance is in square unit. So it will be 2.518 months square, where a standard deviation is in the same unit as the measurement. So standard deviation is 1.5868 months. Variance is 2.518 months square. I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, you can always write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And please let your friends know about my video so they can also watch it. And please, you and your friends, subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll stop here today. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, another interesting solution. Take care, see you later.